Good evening. Thank you for joining us. New tonight, Des Moines police say the cell phone and Facebook records of Black Lives Matter organizer Matthew Bruce show plans for violent, not peaceful protests. But Bruce says that's not true. KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel is live downtown tonight with the new court documents. Steve and Stacy, Des Moines police recovered Bruce's lost cell phone during an arrest at the State House just a couple of months ago. After a search warrant, they got into the phone and found what they say are thousands of text and other bits of information that show how he was planning this summer's Black Lives Matter protests. Now he says he did not plan anything violent. You're going to July 1st, Des Moines police arrest several Black Lives Matter protesters at the Iowa State House. They find an iPhone after the scuffle and discover it is the key to leader Matthew Bruce's planning during a summer of unrest in Des Moines. That led to some search warrants for both uh, phone and social media, and it uh, uncovered some uh, pretty disturbing stuff. New police and court documents show police were able to search Bruce's cell phone and found an encrypted chat program known as Signal. Eventually, detectives uncovered more than 3,000 messages. The police say show extensive criminal plans and the goal for mass chaos in the Des Moines area. That one was, was a little shocker to us. Some of the messages involved shared instructions on de-arresting techniques, with examples like play tug-of-war with cops, drop kick a cop, push a cop over, and get cops from behind. De-arresting is not a thing. It's, it's interference with official act. Other messages included plans for this June 22nd protest on Merle Hay Road. It was allegedly supposed to end on Interstate 8035. Police say they found messages about creating a pinch point, about throwing nails on the interstate, creating a blockade with cars, stealing construction equipment, and placing an empty decoy vehicle on the interstate while calling in a fake hostage situation. I think the fact that there was some, some planning of some violence behind the scenes didn't really surprise us, but the level that they were willing to take it was. When you look at the, the thoughts of throwing things on the interstate to disable vehicles, that, that could very easily kill someone. So the police are lying. We spoke with Matthew Bruce late this afternoon. He denies that the phone records promote violence. They're putting my name behind text messages that I did not send. And they are putting my name on actions that never happened. He also says he doesn't support violence. Every protest where I'm at, I raise my fist in the air and I say, we do not unprovoked lash out against people or property. These things endanger the movement, our friends and family. And everyone that comes to these protests know that. Now, Bruce has been arrested five times during the summer protests. In fact, he was just arrested this week on another charge uh, during a protest. Those charges include disorderly conduct, assault, and interference. He says the truth will eventually come out in court. We're live at the police station. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.